Welcome to Unit 7.7. .7. In this lesson, we're going to learn how to um, link two cells of two different files together, how you edit that link, and how you break that link. I currently have two files open, so I'm going to view them um, side by side. Here's my one file, here's my other file. So just in a cell somewhere, just so you can see, I'm going to click on Equals, and I'm going to select another cell from another file and enter, and there's currently a link there. I'm just going to maximize this one. Over here you can see it's in the intermediate examples. As soon as you see XLSX, you know that it's a file link, and then that's the sheet name and that's the cell reference. Um, <clears throat> let's now go, let's say for example, that particular file gets renamed or it gets put into another folder. You're going to probably get a ref error. So how would you edit this link to say, go and look on my memory stick or go and look in another folder? On the data ribbon, you now have something called edit links. By the way, when you open a file and you see update, don't update, that message that comes up, that generally indicates that there is a file link. Let's click edit links. Here you'll see the link. You can just click on change source and tell it where the file is sitting now and it will recalculate. So don't worry if your whole spreadsheet's full of ref errors. You can just tell it, go and look in this folder, go and look on my memory stick by clicking on change source. What you, and then you can update the values. Um, if you don't want it to be linked anymore, you can just select break link and choose break links. And what happens then, close, is that it keeps the current value, but if you look in the formula bar, there is no longer a link. So that's how you edit a link and you break a link.